Hi guys and welcome to my channel Plant Based Sweetheart. My name is Mary and we're going to talk about week 5. What happened? So on Sunday in week 4 you'll see I had meal prepped for this week to make sure I'm on track, reset, all that good stuff. And Sunday night, that same night, I started feeling so freaking sick. And Monday, I couldn't even go to work. Like, I was just a hot mess. I've been a hot mess. And um, honestly, I haven't gone to work all week. Today is Friday, and I have not gone to work. Like, I've never in my life missed that many days of work. Like, those Vegas germs were no joke. I'm never going to Vegas during the holidays ever again. Um, anyway, so I meal prepped on Sunday. I made a vegan carbonara that I love and I made rice. I was gonna make zucchini. I had like, you know, I was gonna eat great this week. And because of being so sick, Honestly, on Monday, I think I just literally had a banana. I couldn't even eat. Like, I couldn't even think about food. I was just... I felt like I was dying. I know it's dramatic, but that's how I've been feeling. Um, I couldn't eat Tuesday. I was... Because the medicine... Um, the cough medicine I took was so strong and my stomach was so empty I had like the worst stomach pain so I managed to eat a banana and some toast I had like a simple Ezekiel toast and normally I have no problem eating toast like I could take it like a champ you know hello who doesn't love toast but I'm telling you guys it was so hard to eat but you, you know if you're sick you don't you just don't have that appetite um, so that's what I've been living off of basically is toast and banana. Unfortunately, I had to throw away all the food I meal prepped for a few reasons. One, obviously because I have no appetite um, and my husband won't eat any of it and now he's sick, poor guy. Um, the carbonara that I made, I normally use because I buy it from Trader Joe's their cashew butter because it's roasted it gives the carbonara a very different flavor and I love it and I bought raw cashew butter I just don't like it it changes the whole recipe I guess because I got used to the roasted cashew but I just did not like that so that was one thing going against it and then two um I was trying to, you know, use chickpea pasta and I had high hopes for it. I've had it before and I didn't mind it, but I guess I didn't like it in this dish particularly. Um, that was hard for me to say, particularly. Okay. Anyway, um, it just was like, bleh. <laughs> like I just did not like it. I... Because yesterday, today's Friday, yesterday, um, I felt like, oh, I'm getting my appetite. Let me give it a try. I was like, uh-uh, not good. That's pretty much how week five, even though it's Friday today, I can't imagine what is going to be different about Saturday and Sunday. I'm just praying that I feel better and that I do have the strength to meal prep. I'm definitely going to try to go to the market tomorrow and get some potatoes because like I always say if you don't make anything can't make stuff at least make potatoes those are always going to come in handy so I'm definitely going to grab a bag of potatoes maybe even two and hope that by Sunday I am much better and hopefully week six will actually be like a normal freaking week so I'm at Whole Foods shopping for the week, ready to meal prep. And for fun, I always like to come to the hot food aisle. Of, yes, the hot food. My husband insists on making commentary over here. Yes, they're all vegan. Um, I just wanted to show you guys. Look at that oil, like no freaking thank you. 
It's their mac and yeast. Um, no thanks. That's probably delicious, but also loaded with oil. Fried. More oil. Yeah, those are good. I've had them in the past, but they have a ton of oil too. Can I do a taste test? <laughs> no. I'll be like the Guy Fieri on Triple D. I'm going to do a taste test. For uh, yeah, you. no. You're not on Triple D and you're not allowed to do that. But I just want to share with you guys. I'm so grossed out by this. I don't even know who... Who thinks like, okay, this looks appetizing. Let me grab some. Not, not I. Anyways, I just wanted to share this with you guys. Don't come to the market hungry because then you might make a bad decision like that one right there. And well, this is not that bad, but we still know it's loaded with oil. So I'm back from Whole Foods and I wanted to give you guys a little looky-loo inside my bag. I bought some OJ because I am feeling under the weather. And to go along with that, I bought some shots. Shots. Yeah, not the kind that make you feel silly. The kind that make you feel good. <laughs> Since I have a cough, I bought the one with elderberry. And over here, I have some zucchini. I am going to have a recipe video for this. I'm so excited because it's one of my mom's dishes, and I veganized it. It's so yummy. I can't wait to share that with you guys. And I have two more bags of regular pasta. I'm going to eat those up and transition into whole wheat pasta. And I also got some chickpea pasta. And over here, I found some fat-free marinara for, you know, on a day where I want pasta and marinara, but... I don't feel like making it from scratch. At least that's fat-free, oil-free. And something else I found, even though it's not really salad season because it's cold, but I was craving, like, I back before I was a vegan, I loved having, like, a ranch salad or Caesar salad. And look what I found at Whole Foods. No oil, you guys, and low sodium. I know we have to stay away from processed foods. I totally get it, but it's nice to have a little treat. What else did I get? Some cut up fruit, vegetable broth, oranges, I'm trying to get all that vitamin C, some baby arugula, this right here. This one will be in another recipe video. It's not my recipe. I've taken someone else's recipe and made it mine. So I'll be sharing that soon with you guys. I hope you enjoy this little segment. Hey guys, I wanted to show you what I've been eating for the past five days. I've been sick as a dog and really I don't have any appetite. I kind of have to force myself to eat. Um, I've been eating really simple. This is the first time I have my banana and bread like this together, but normally I was having a banana and then a piece of toast so I can take my medicine because the medicine is so strong it hurts my stomach and the struggle is real on a normal day when I'm not sick I mean I could wolf down two bananas if I wanted to and probably like 10 pieces of toast but it's been so hard to get one banana and one piece of toast down anywho um I saw, I was watching Crocs in the Kitchen, they're a lovely couple on YouTube, and I guess the husband eats his sandwiches like this. He does a piece of toast and some banana and some nutmeg. I've never tried this before, so I'm a little excited. Um, normally, I eat Ezekiel bread, but I ran out and... All we had was um, Dave's Killer Bread, which I like too, so I don't mind that. I'll take a bite right now and let you guys know what I think. I'm not going to turn the camera on to myself because I look like a freaking tree monster. I want to save your eyes. It's pretty good. From what I can taste, I mean, my taste buds are kind of dull right now. But I like that little nutty flavor. That's coming through. That's pretty good. Um, here's a funny thing. 
for the longest time, my mom would say, oh, I need knickknack. I'm like, what the heck is knickknack? All this time, knickknack turned out to be nutmeg. So it cracks me up every time I see like recipes that call for for nutmeg. I just go knickknack. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, that's actually really good. So yeah, I wanted to show you guys a little bit of basically this is what I've been having all week I mean obviously not like this but banana and toast and that's what I've been living off since Monday I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you for your support and if you really enjoyed it and continue enjoying my videos please share like subscribe ring the bell so you get enough notification when I'm on and um, thanks for bearing with me today because I know my voice sounds funny and hopefully next week week six will be a lot better thank you guys <laughs>